Hey everyone, it's the Chaplain coming to you with a little 1914 here in my mobile command center. Playing with my buddy Greg. He is the Central Powers and I am the Allies or the Entente, if you will. The game has had very many interesting turns. For example, um, 11 Ottomans in German-occupied Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. Uh, we've also got, uh, let's see here, here we go. Um, <laughs> 11 Austrians in German-occupied Piedmont. The Germans are amassing quite the force. Beautiful hand-painted tank that I won as a giveaway. Um, I mentioned it in an earlier video, but if you haven't, you should check out HBG and their pieces, and then you should also check out... Oh, my daughter's awake. You should also check out Plastic Commando. He painted those up. Uh, Germany controls most of Russia. Uh, if Moscow becomes contested, I'm debating the Russian revolt rule. Brits have a pretty strong position of force here. The Americans are landed in Picardy and uh, with more forces on the way. So this is turn six, UK and France. Uh, France first, obviously. But uh, all right, here we go. France has 32 IPCs to spend, and so I'm spending it on four infantry and five artillery. That's all 32. Additionally, I'm listening to the King Arthur soundtrack from the 2004 thriller. Thriller. King Arthur was a great movie with a great soundtrack. Hans Zimmer is a musical genius. All right, here we go. So I have made those purchases. My first move is to claim German East Africa for the French. And I'll place my roundel. Um, Rob, why are you doing that? You're abandoning the, the bulk of forces. I know, we're playing a little dance here called Stay Away from the Ottomans. Um, really, that's all this game is about right now. So I'll move the IPCs. Germany, Germany was at 48, folks. 48, and now they're 47. Okay. Uh, the next French movement I have is this transport is going to pick up one infantry from Marseille and drop him in Tunisia. Um, then, I apologize for the shaky camera work again, my tripod is still at church, but I'll be there tomorrow. I'm moving two infantry from Burgundy into Marseille. I'm moving my Parisian forces into Burgundy. Uh, I'm moving my two transports into C Zone 2 because they will load up some Brits on their turn. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. What else am I doing? Hmm, let's see. Oh, you're leaving Lorraine open. Yeah, the Americans can walk in there. But what is this? An open Ruhr for six IPCs, huh? Hey! I think I'll take that there. I'm just gonna walk right on in with all my Belgian forces, which consists of 12 infantry and 10 artillery. Well, you know, I'm gonna make a pretty strong defensive stand there, hopefully. And uh, I believe that is my turn, once I adjust the IPCs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, also great. Coffee, yes I drink coffee at eight o'clock at night, 8.22 to be exact. I could drink this stuff right before bed, but it wouldn't bother me. And then I would place my new units. Didn't have any combat which is just fine with me. France collects 35, so I will just put the monies that I spent, and now I'm 35. 35 for France, I'm happy with that. I am so happy with that, especially this, considering he just retook Alsace with a vengeance, folks. With a vengeance, he took Alsace. Alsace Lorraine, one of the most contested areas in the entire war for the Germans and for the French. Okay, now 
the United Kingdom's turn. They had 35 IPCs to spend, and guess what they bought? Was it land units for India? Was it bigger navy? Oh, hold on. This battleship's supposed to come up here, sorry. That's what this great ship is for. It's not like I just, oh, last minute decided to do that. Nope, that's what the great ships are for. Um, I actually have sitting in my eBay cart a couple of Risk arrows that everyone's been using. I couldn't find the colors I want, so I'm just gonna get some colors and spray paint them. But anyway, the battleship moved from eight to nine. So there is a good amount of uh, ships there. I'll do disposition of both forces simultaneously. British. I gotta, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, folks. I'm excited. Here we go. I'm buying five transports. That's right. And because this game stinks at providing you with enough units, that's how it had to look. All right, so my first British move is right here. I'm moving into Belgian Congo. I'm sorry, I'm moving from Belgian Congo into Rhodesia. My next British move, I am transporting one infantry from Arabia into Egypt and reclaiming it for myself, which I understand is probably silly it's only worth two and my infantry is worth three I get it but I need the IPCs and I need the Turks to receive less so uh, this transport here is going to move to season 27 and then to 29 so he came from 28 now uh, before I had moved from here to here but I didn't control so yeah that was my bad thank you moose cow for pointing that out um, Pardon the finger in the viewfinder again. I'm doing this one-handed. Um, from the Syrian desert, my lone troop is going to claim Smyrna. Again, it's only worth two. Why am I taking it with an infantry that's worth three? Because I want him to come at me. I'm moving my infantry and artillery from Persia into Mesopotamia. My fighter, which can move two joining them in Mesopotamia, so I'm scooting all this down here. Um, infantry, artillery, and a tank in India are moving into Persia. This plane from Mesopotamia can move two, one, two, and so he will be able to help defend the Ukraine um, and hopefully shoot that fighter out of the sky and give the Russians three at four. That would be great. And since the rule book says he can land his turn in any territory containing friendly land units. He can land there, no problem. Next, I'm going to assault Ankara. His two infantry and one artillery are being assaulted by my infantry, artillery, and plane with air supremacy here. So that will be five, six, seven, eight artillery at four seven infantry at three and a strafe run with the plane i should sweep that battle up here i'm going to load some british units onto my french transports because i can do that and then i just have to move the french transports and then unload them on britain's turn um, all of this is going to stay there double checking double checking all right here we go ankara i have seven infantry five six seven and i have five six seven eight nine artillery and a plane versus his two and one so here's my strafe run with my plane it's a miss i have seven artillery i'm sorry seven infantry which are all supported because i have more so seven that's seven at three i just need three hits folks and i got them one, two, three. Didn't even have to throw my artillery, which is nice. So I'll take them off the board. My apologies, folks. My phone told me I was out of storage and I wasn't even paying attention. So uh, anyway, I got the hits I needed. I have not yet thrown his defensive shots. So my apologies for that break in the video. Um, it's actually been like a three minute break in real life trying to free up space on my phone. <laughs> Lo siento. All right, so he had uh, two infantry and an artillery that are defending. 
we had no hits. Yeah! Woo, look at that, no hits. All right, so Ankara is mine, fool. Boom, roasted. All right, that's good for me. Bacon is good for me. Um. <laughs> All right, that makes me happy. All right, so here we go. Turkey moves down three more. One, two, three. Britain moves up. One, two, three. To 37. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Place me in units. And then I'll do a disposition of forces. They're all going in C-Zone 9, for the record. And since I love the dramatic effect, I'm putting all my transports down. Okay, sorry, I had to, I swung my arm over here while I did that. I don't know why. All right, here's a full disposition of French and British forces. In C-Zone 2, there are two French transports carrying two British infantry and two British artillery. In Canada, there are four British infantry. In C-Zone 9, sweet goodness, there is a French battleship. Here we go, a French cruiser. Three British subs. Three British cruisers. Another, uh, a British transport, and uh, five British transports, and one British battleship. London itself has, oh golly, help me. One, two, three, four, five artillery and 12 infantry and a plane. Great. Um, Ruhr has 12 infantry. Sorry, I'm zoomed in here. Let me back up. Here we go. I'll zoom in a little. 12 infantry and 10 artillery. Uh, Belgium is mine. Lorraine is mine. Paris has four infantry, five artillery that I just purchased. Marseille has four infantry and two artillery. <sighs> Try to set my arm down here. Balance, balance it a little bit. Um, in Burgundy, I have a plane. I have three, four, five, six, seven artillery. And one, two, three, four, five, six infantry. Excuse me for the break in audio. I sneezed there. Um, Season 16 has a transport. Tunisia has an infantry. Sea Zone 17 has a British and French battleship. Sea Zone 18 has a British cruiser. Egypt, one Brit. Uh, da, da, da. German East Africa, one Frenchman. Rhodesia, one infantry and two artillery from the Brits. Uh, sea Zone 18 has one transport. Smyrna has one infantry. Ankara has seven British infantry and nine artillery with a fighter. There's also a British fighter in Ukraine. Mesopotamia has infantry, artillery, and a plane. 29 has a transport. Persia has infantry and six artillery. That is a full disposition of French and British forces. I apologize for the uh, sniffling and the sneeze, and I'm trying to edit. I'm going to edit all that out. Anyway, uh, England will collect 37 IPCs. I'm happy with that. Here we go. Ottoman Empire, you're up. I'm the chaplain. I'll be praying for you.